Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you don't know who I am, hello, my name is Jordan and I'm so happy to have you here today. So a few weeks back I was brainstorming video ideas and it dawned on me that I never really talked about my biggest skating accomplishment of my competitive career and one of the best experiences of my entire life thus far. So it really inspired me and I thought that I would just sit down and tell you guys all about my experience at the 2012 Youth Olympic Games. If you guys are new here, you might be confused. So a little bit of background about me. I am a professional figure skater, so I do work on cruise ships when the pandemic is not a thing. And I would also love to experience other professional skating tours. But before that, I was a competitive skater for like 16 or 17 years. So skating is a huge part of my life, pretty much my entire life. And one of the most amazing opportunities I got in my competitive career was being able to represent Team USA at the 2012 Youth Olympic Games in Innsbruck, Austria. Now everybody has obviously heard of the Olympic Games, you know what it is, I don't need to explain it, but you might not be familiar with the Youth Olympic Games. So basically, the Youth Olympic Games is the same exact thing as the Olympic Games, but it is for younger athletes. So there has been the Summer Youth Olympic Games going around, but it wasn't until 2012 that they actually hosted their first Winter Youth Olympic Games. I know that was already a mouthful of information, but I'm going to be telling you how I got selected and my entire experience there. And then at the end, I'm going to be answering some questions that you guys sent me. So before we hop into it, make sure to subscribe if you're not already for more skating content and other lifestyle type content. And if you want to follow me on my other social medias, I will have TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all linked down below. With all that being said, let's finally get into this video. So to start off, I'm just gonna give you kind of a background of my skating career. Like I said before, I was very competitive. I did go to nationals multiple times. I won regionals four times. I don't remember how many times. I've gone to sectionals a bunch of times as well. So I was very competitive and in 2011, I was a junior in figure skating. So I was actually 14 years old at the time and it was my first year of being a junior lady level. In the moment, I thought I was really old and grown up, but looking back now, almost 10 years later, I cannot believe how young I really was when I experienced all this. But that competing season was crazy for me. So at the beginning of my season, like three or four days before a competition, I broke my finger while I was at practice, and that was the first bone that I ever broke. Um, and I did end up competing in a cast and did really well, but that was how we started off the season. And then I kind of battled with a hip injury throughout the rest of the season. I was also a freshman in high school at this time and wanted to have a good balance of a skating life as well as a social life in school. So it was just a crazy time for me. I was, you know, 14 years old. We've all been there. And I ended up winning regionals that year. I had Literally, I had homecoming the night before my short program, which is so funny. My parents still let me go, but I did win regionals, which qualified me for sectionals. So after regionals, I went back to training and I'm still battling my hip injury, but my mom actually got an email that I was in the selection pool for the upcoming Youth Olympic Games. And we kind of thought it was spam email because like we never really heard of it, but we did end up getting a few reminders for the email. So I had to send in like, all my clothing sizes, so what size sports bra, pants, shirts, shorts, shoes, everything. And we didn't really think too much of it, to be quite honest. It was so long ago too that, I mean, I can't remember every single detail, but we pretty much didn't really know what was going on. So November comes and I go to sectionals. I don't end up making it through to nationals, which was like the biggest heartbreak for me. I ended up getting fifth place and the top four qualify for nationals. So I was devastated, but you know, I had a really good season and I definitely overcame a lot of obstacles throughout the season with multiple injuries and things like that. So I end up coming home from the competition and like a week later we get this email that I was selected to go to the Youth Olympic Games and represent Team USA as the only singles girl skater. And we were like freaking out. 
I remember I came home from school or something like that and my mom had told me and we were just all speechless like we were totally in awe I could not believe it and it was such amazing news after a really upsetting competition like a week before so basically how I got selected was you had to have gone to nationals the year before and you also had to be within a certain age range so I fell under that category and then after they went through the entire selection of everyone who was eligible, they ended up picking me. Fast forward now to January, I got to travel for the first time to Europe. I had never been to Europe before that, so I actually flew from Buffalo to Germany and then from Germany we took a three hour bus ride to Innsbruck. So all the athletes at the games got to stay in the Olympic Village, which was so unbelievably cool. Thinking back, I wish I had my YouTube channel because I would have documented all of this and it would have been so cool to look back on, but I do have a lot of really cool pictures and the way the rooms were set up, it was kind of like an apartment setting. So there was like two rooms and then a little like kind of like studio room. So I actually shared the little mini apartment with three other skiers and they were all so nice, obviously all from Team USA. My amazing coach of 14 years, Linnell, got to go with me obviously to the competition and unfortunately Kirk couldn't come with because you could only have one coach and my parents obviously went to watch so my mom was not coaching me there either. So I kind of went off on a tangent but I did live with three skiers during my time there and they were all so super nice. The games lasted two weeks so I was in Innsbruck, Austria for two weeks living in the Olympic Village. There was a shuttle to get to the rink and practices and all that jazz and I got to meet so many talented figure skaters, some of which like you know now that are literally at the Olympics and things like that. I cannot believe it's already almost been 10 years since I went but at the same time it seems like a lifetime ago. I just had the absolute best experience and I was able to meet people from all over the world and people who were amazing in their own sports. Another thing I really enjoyed about the Youth Olympic Games was that they encouraged mingling so they had a lot of like community events in order to earn points if you will. It was more of just like a fun thing. You could exchange your points earned at each event for like merch, t-shirts, things like that. I thought they were a lot of fun and they were a nice thing to do when you had some extra free time. I did actually keep a journal. I'm not sure where that is, but I did keep a journal of my time there. Every day I wrote down what I did. But yeah, it was really so much fun and I'm so glad that I got the experience to compete internationally and represent Team USA. It was truly a blessing and it could not have gone any better. I skated so well, I couldn't have been more pleased with the outcome and I did end up placing 7th overall in the girls field and I want to say there was 16 or 17 girls in my group. So I did finish middle of the pack which I was thrilled about and honestly my biggest goal was just to enjoy the experience and skate the best that I could because as we all know you can't control the results. And then another thing they did have which they've now incorporated into the regular Olympics but they didn't have it before was the mixed team event. So in the Olympics now they have the team event but it is all your own team. So it's all Team USA, it's all Team China, it's all Team Russia. But like I said a minute ago, they really encouraged making connections and friendships with people from all over the world. So my team event was actually a mixed team event. So my team comprised of Shoma Uno from Japan and an ice dance team from Belarus. Their names were Yuri and Evgenia. So the way the team event worked was each individual event was hosted and then Based on your placement, you earned points for your team, and then at the end, whoever had the most amount of points won. So we all had to compete our long programs once again, and I skated really well again. I was very, very happy with it. It wasn't quite as good as the first time I competed, but it was a very close second. So I placed second, Shoma placed second, and the ice dance team placed, I want to say, seventh or eighth. So when it came down to it, we got 16 points total, and we were tied for first place. So after the tiebreaker, I'm not entirely sure how that tiebreaker was made. I think it was based on actual technical points since it was the IJS system. We ended up winning first place overall, so I do have my medal in my closet somewhere. Maybe I should grab that. 
It's been almost 10 years and I still don't have quite the right words to express just how amazing that feeling was. That is an experience that I will hold on to for the rest of my life and I'm just so grateful that I was selected to represent Team USA in this amazing, amazing event. I just can't believe I was like 14 years old. Like I was a literal baby when I went. When you're in the moment, you don't realize like how young you are. But you know, looking back, I cannot believe how well I handled that stressful environment and the pressure and kudos to me. <laughs> so I just grabbed my medal from my closet. So I just have it in this nice little box just to keep it pretty and perfect. And then inside the box is another box. <laughs> Uh, so this is the box that they gave me with my medal. As you can see, it just says Innsbruck 2012, which is the little logo. And this is a really nice box. So I want to display my medal, but I really want to keep it in perfect condition. So that's why I've just kept it in this box. Here she is. <laughs> so she's gorgeous, right? So here is the medal. Um, as you can see, little Olympic rings on it and it just says first winter youth olympic games i really love the ribbon this was like kind of the color scheme for the games and then the back of the medal just looks like this it's pretty heavy like this is definitely my prized possession and if my house is burning down and i can only grab one like materialistic item it would be this And then I don't know if you guys would really even care to see this, but I do still have my like credential from the competition. So they took a picture of me or maybe I uploaded it. I have just my little picture, my name, it says athlete, United States of America. And then this was my little barcode to scan me into the cafeteria for all the athletes. And then the lanyard is the same as the medal, but I actually have all these cool pins. So I did trade pins with people from all over the world. So I've got, uh, oh my god, I've got Slovakia, I've got Bulgaria, I've got Switzerland, I've got Spain, Japan, Russia, India, Austria. So I've got it all. But this is like another thing that I will definitely hold on to for the rest of my life. It's so cool. And trading pins was so much fun. You got a ton of pins and you just kind of like exchange them with other athletes. Really cool. We did also have a really amazing opening and closing ceremony which made it even more special. I was going to go into questions but this video is already far too long so if you guys want to see a part two because there's so many more things I can share about this experience definitely let me know and I can also answer any questions you guys have so if you want me to do like a youth olympic games Q&A kind of thing I can do that I'm so sorry but I did not realize how long I've been talking for, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and just kind of learning a little bit about my experience. Again, I am so grateful. I'm not trying to brag at all, but I did work my ass off my whole skating career and I still am to this day. So I am so thankful for the opportunity to skate there and I am really proud of myself. But again, I'm not trying to brag and say that I'm the shit because I'm not, but <laughs> I love you guys all to the moon and back. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me and my channel and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.